What's going on, folks? Once again, I'm Ned from Nev's Tech, but otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. And today, me, the groove, and the squad are going to try to move your feet uh, with this Elmo Live doll. He seems to think there's a lot of funny things. <laughs> this Elmo Live doll is definitely the most animated doll that, uh, or robotic that I've seen. We have multiple buttons. We have a button on the nose. We have a button on the tummy. We have a button on the back. Oh yeah. What's that, Elmo? Lunch and dinner. He's supposed to be a mwah mwah. Anyways, there's a button on the back. Guess how much Elmo loves you. Go ahead. Uh, thank you. You're Elmo's best friend. Anyways, we got Elmo's got a bad back and he's got a bad leg, as many of us do. And there's a button in the foot. Anyways, what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to turn Elmo off, and we're going to take a look at the robotics on the inside of him, and see what he's like on the inside. Now, um, you want to get a good X-Acto knife for this kind of thing, but one thing I really love to do is take old robotics, or consumer electronic robotics, open them up and see what's on the inside. Oh, I need a sharper knife. Sorry about this, Elmo. It's okay, Elmo loves me. Anyways, this toy has been well loved. I think it's been on the market for about 10 years. All right, so we're about halfway done. You can see we got the speaker on the front button. Oh yeah, I gotta turn them on. No, it doesn't like that too much. Ah, oh, I appreciate you too, Elmo. Got the button on the back. Yep. You won't mind if I proceed then, right, Elmo? <laughs> so here he is, without his stuff on. Oh yeah? You see that knee's having a hard time. Mm. Uh-oh, got it. Uh -uh. Yeah. One day, Elmo was walking down Sesame Street. Elmo heard someone say, Three, five, four, four. Something smells like a little monster. Elmo was scared. That's as high as he gets. He's got a bad back. Nothing on that foot, button on that foot. Come on. There you go. 
I'll put that foot down. I'm noticing now this might have something to do with him not being able to bring his knee up. Cookie Monster is a jerk. Keep Cookie Monster away from the Dragon Balls. <laughs> so the hand basically has a spring on it that's attached to this plush piece. He doesn't seem to be good at standing back up after going down on the knee. Wonder if that has to do with the Yeah, so I have a feeling if we repaired this thing right here, he'd be able to stand up again. And I'm wondering if that's the main issue with his posability. Anyways, this knee doesn't... Oh! Oh, we have a fracture here. That's interesting. That was not me. Oh, kids are rough on their toys, right? Want to hear something silly? What's that? Squeeze on those nails! Oh, yeah. Stay tuned for part two. I'm going to crack this guy open. First, I'm going to see if I can repair him so he'll work the way he did. But as far as robotics go, there's a lot going on in here. And I think that is so cool. Right? What do you think, Alma? Guess how much Alma loves you. A little? Just like that yes. much. That, that much? Does Alma love you? I'm this over here. Much? Awesome, Ella. Enough to give you the Emperor's <laughs> mercy. <laughs> Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.